saw the Sky Ready RC Cobra SLX Evo. Cobra attack! This is a really nice racing frame. Lucas is the owner of Sky Ready RC and one of the main factors in the tough racing field over in Temple, Texas. The three main features that stand out in comparison to other frames are number one, this metal plate that captures the arms right here. This allows you to have one screw arm swaps uh, as well as a very firm arm grip in there. Unlike a lot of the other metal aluminum designs, these only have these plates at the front and back, so it doesn't use a very thin piece of material to keep the arm in place. This actually runs the full length of the arm so that you won't have those arms that come loose and break loose. In addition to that, it has a dedicated spot for the battery strap right here. You don't have to have your battery touching your ESC. You have fully access to your 20 by 20 stack. This frame is 20 by 20 only, so note that. And it has probably the best motor protection of any racing frame I have seen today, even better than the Open Racer, which is what I'm running primarily to keep my motors safe. So uh, one of the things that I really liked about seeing uh, Lucas's build was just all the little touches. You know, it's very interesting when you see a company owner in FPV who is also a designer and it's even more rare and special when that person is also a very talented racer. So I wanted to see all the little touches that he put into his build because as I was looking at my little mental notes were going off and I'm like, wow, there's some pretty nice inclusions in here. Sky Ready RC Cobra five inch racing frame. Check out the packaging here. Have a little icon here that shows what the finished thing is going to look like. Let's open it up and take a look. about eight minutes and I was going slow in order to record the video. Super fast and easy frame uh, assembly right there. One of the things I like most about this thing is because of this uh, aluminum plate right here, there's only one screw for arm swaps. Check this arm swap procedure out, guys. Take this arm, arm goes out, new arm goes in like this, fits right in place. Take your Thompson screw, put it back in. Have you ever done an arm swap that fast before? I mean, wow. Check out the motor protection that you have on this. These are some T motor, I believe these are the V4. Yeah, these are T motor V4 1950 KV F40s. Now, what do you notice about these things? Look at how much motor protection you have at the end of the arm. Uh, one of my favorite frames uh, to run for 2021 season has been the Open Racer. Here's one right here, but if you take a look, you have the really excellent motor protection. I think that the Cobra SLX actually might have slightly more, if you see that. Uh, it sticks out a little bit more, but there's a little bit thicker motor protection right here. Um, this design requires two screws for a motor swap versus the Cobra SLX, which only requires one screw. So now let's take a look at um, Lucas's. This thing right here, wow. Some really nice touches. I noticed when we were flying the global qualifier that Lucas had put some really nice touches. Check out one of his actual builds. First of all, he's got the F40 Pros onto some immaculately measured and soldered um, race wire right here makes for very quick motor swaps in addition to the quick arm swapping of the Cobra SLX. You can see here he has the TBS Pro Nano 32 going to one of these Luminator Axi Micros right here. This is the Runcam Racer Nano 2. Take a look at this plexiglass. Um, 
It's sort of a little stack protector that goes over the sides and he actually has the VTX and antenna mounted to this at the top. Man, what a really nice touch that is. Capacitor installed right at the battery leads, which is the best practice. Of course, some strain relief on the pigtail of the arm. And uh, I usually tend to put my uh, capacitors maybe on the pigtail, which is not as nice and clean as this. This is very nice and clean. Um, he's also using a Luminaire Kevlar battery strap and some really nice battery mounting gel grip. Now you notice how easily the strap came out for that? That's because there's a dedicated spot on this frame for your battery strap right here. And I'll tell you what, I know quite a few professional builders. And this is right there on par with this. So, so what do you think in the comments, guys? Um, if you're looking for a racing frame that is plentiful, has the most amount of motor protection possible that I've seen on the market yet today, does not have ability for wiggly arms and has single screw arm swaps, uh, this could be the frame for you. What are you racing with uh, for this year on the Multi-GP Qualifier? I met my goal, I got a sub one minute time, I think I got 58 seconds. Then I realized that everybody who's about my same speed was getting 40 something seconds, so my goal should have been sub 50 seconds. Hopefully I'll get to run that sucker again. So let's close it out with some of Lucas's DVR. He, again, is a very talented racer. So let's check out some of his flight footage on some of these really cool tracks that they're setting up in the tough field. If you are in the Temple, Texas area or anywhere in the middle of Texas, you may wanna travel down there for winter nationals that are coming up. Check out one of their races with fabulous prizes that'll be available for you if you have the skills to pay the bills. Thanks, guys. You owe him a steak dinner. Totally. a great victory for Cobra.